Hello everyone, we are back to our Gui Trading series and I'm Kenji from Bus Trade Exchange and today is our third episode about variables. So after we talk about the, how to select and choose the best trading pair in last episode choice and today we are discussing the real thing. Oh, the real thing to success in crypto is not just determined by choose a better trading pair but more, more with the parameter the, the variables that you set before you open your great trading orders so i will teach you how to set each variable and what their meanings are and also we have trading bonus will be launched in september so Please follow our channel and keep touching in bus trade. And if you did uh, register our playful and do the KOS process, please just go go do it and you will get your trading bonus in September. So let's begin. After you register bus trade exchange and do the KYC and let's go straight to the votes page, which is trade page. And you can go to trade page, you will see they have two options in the top, the bot mode or manual trading mode. So today we are discussing great trading series. So let's go to great trading. Okay. And you also you can see we have two trading boats right now, great trading and DCA. So for great trading, you can see there are several columns that you need to fill. You need to enter the parameters, the variables to open, to fulfill, to open the great trading boat. Like the, the, the top two, the top two is about lower limit and upper limit, which is mean the price range of your great trading boat. The price range that the boat will automatically help you to place buy and sell order to its execute this trading for you in your ideal price range. So how to determine the lower limit and upper limit? They have some several and many methods you can use. And uh, you if you didn't know how to say you can check first first firstly you can check our tutorial in our median, bus trade media, like this one, ultimate tutorial of great trading boats. In this tutorial, I I already show you very detail about how to ask you your great trading boat in real situation, like how to identify the trend, like uh, what we talk about in the last episode, select more suitable trading pair. And also, you can use the support and resistor technique to determine the price range of your trade, trading boat. Like, let's go to the example. Like, I want to invest Polkadot to today, and I want to use great trading boat in Polkadot for about, I think it's middle term or long term. So I just go to daily chart or four hour chart is all, is all it's all all right okay so in like daily chart if you know how to find a support resistor label you can directly use support and resistor for setting your price range but if you don't know how to use it or you don't even know why it's support and resistor label you can simply and very easy to use previous high and previous low to decide the price range. Like in this situation, we are here about around $24 to $25. So we can firstly find previous high, which is around maybe I think is maybe $28 to $29 to $30. And also the next one will be here, $48, 40, 48 to $50. And the previous low, previous low is around here, like eleven dollars, and next one will be thirteen dollars. So I just very easily to identify the previous high and previous low, 
they also circle E or signal E for determine which price range you prefer and based on your prediction of this trade market trend of this pair. So if I think, if I saw, I predict Polkadot will rise hardly or vol volatile hardly in a larger range, I may prefer to set price range around $11 to $48 is a larger price range to use. In other hand, if I thought Polkadot will in a narrow consolidation flat and swing up and down in a narrow price level, I may prefer to set price range at around $28 to $13. So it's very easy and simple. You just need to find the price level you prefer and you think is most suitable to current or future price phase. So just you just enter what you saw and what, what your idea price range. Like lower limit, I saw it's 13 and upper limit, maybe it's 30, okay. So, and next one will be the grids, the number of grids, the quantity of grids that trading ball automatically place your buy order and sell order be between and within your price range. So this one, in this one, you, you can see the, we, we, we provide the plus and a deducted button for you to easy to enter your grids. So what is the number of grids mean and uh, how it works? By setting number of grids, it determine your trading frequency and also the ability to arbitrage, to grab the profit within the price range you predetermine. So it's very easy to understand that the number of grids it determines the profits, how many, how usually your profit will earn and how the trading frequency that grid trading board will place the buy and sell order automatically. So like uh, I give an example, like if you invest in, you want to invest in Bitcoin, BTC USDT trading pair, like around 52K to 55K. If you just put four number of grids, like four grids within this trading range, you, the buy and sell order will be placed at 52K, 53K and 54K and two and the 55K. So if you place more to the maximum grids number, like 100 to 100, then the price interval between all these grids will be narrowed compared to you just set four grids. So the number of grids in Bustray you can set like two, two to hundreds, but it determine what you want to profit, how, how the frequency is and, and the price range you set. So the grids, the number of grids decide the trading frequency as well as the ability to earn the profits in your price range. So in general, I always prefer to set the maximum grids to grab the chance to arbitrage the volatility of my targeted trading pairs. So it's very easy. So if I put just enter 100 grids and that's all, and also you you, you need to decide the grid mode and the investment amount you want to invest in, which means how many capital, how many amount, how, how many funds you want to invest and open this grid trading board. So it's very easy to understand. And the minimum investment amount, the, the minimum investment amount is determined by the parameter, the, the variable you set in the above. So, in bus trade exchange, uh, we have many, we have user friendly parameter and a system that which allow you can use like less than 
10 USDT to open a simple grid trading bot. So it's very suitable to and widely to many crypto investor. Even though it, you didn't have experience to use grid trading bot before, so uh, also you can see the available balance down below and also the profit of each grid and it's all automatically automatically counted for you by your variables so okay so if you have any any thoughts or any ideas about how grid trading board mechanism and how to sell a variables the parameter of to open your first grid trading board you can go straight to our median to find a tutorial to learn so as now you are good to go and try to find the best pairs and sell the best variables to maximize your portfolio see you